Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how you can have an enemy to follow you or chase you. As you see here you have a yellow circle and if you move inside of it it will follow you and if you move outside it will stop follow you. Yeah, let's get to it. So what you can see I have here in my scene right now is a player and two enemies. The enemies are the two red dots here and our player is um, a white circle here with uh, a black gun in the front and he can shoot. <coughs> um, he ha It's a simple uh, movement script. I will leave a link in the description if you will need that. So. Let's start set up the enemy AI. So let's create a new script and call this enemy chase. Take this script. Uh, remember to not <laughs> in run mode. <clears throat> Drag it to your enemy. Open it up in Visual Studio. Let me drag it over here. And in here we will need first. First, we need to find uh, the target that the enemy need to uh, to chase. So let's make a game object called target. And just so you get it, that this will be the player. This. Ah, uh, sorry for that. This is the player. <clears throat> and then we need a float for the speed. Load speed, and uh, this is the chase speed. And then we need a private float for the distance. And the distance is the calculation that we will need from the target and for the enemy. So to find our target, we can say here in the start function, we can say target is equal to game object dot find object. And remember to choose the object with tag and not objects with tag. Object with tag and here we will find the player. Uh, with uppercase, the player. <clears throat> this is one way that you can find the player, then it will always look for the tag in your game. The other thing is just you can say public and then you can simply drag your player to the script instead. That's up to you. I like to use this method because then if it if I lose the reference, it will automatically find it again. Then in our update, we will have to calculate the distance. So the distance will be a vector free dot distance. And here it will be between the target dot transform dot position and uh, this enemy transform dot position. And then we can say if our distance is greater or, le or equal to our. Oh, sorry, we, we of course need the radius. Uh, let's make the public float max chase radius. <clears throat> so if it's equal to our max chase radius, then we will say our transform dot position is equal to vector free dot move towards. So this code will move the the target against the player. Or to the player, so transform. Where do, where does this script need to move to? We need to move from the enemy to the target. The transform dot position, and we need to do that with this a speed multiplied with time dot delta time. So this will move the enemy to the player. 
So let's save this and hit back to Unity. Here you can see the uh, the script has compiled. We and uh, we need a target. We have a speed of uh, let's set it to one and a max chase radius on one point five in my case. So now let's try hit play and see what happens. So if I go closer to this target, it will start for chasing me and I can run around and it will chase. So if you want to control the, uh, so you can see the distance, it sometimes helps, uh, helps to, yeah, to, to understand it better. Then you can open up the script again. And then underneath the update, we can make a private void called on draw gizmos. And here we can say gizmos dot color is equal to color dot. I will choose yellow. You can choose red, whatever you want. I will just use the yellow one. And then you will draw gizmos dot draw wire. Uh, let's see, sapphire. <clears throat> this will draw a circle uh, around transform the position. So this is around you, and how uh, or at your position, sorry, and how large should that circle be? And that circle will be the max chase radius. So try save this and hit back to Unity again. So here you can see a yellow circle. If you can't see it, you need to enable the gizmos up here. And this is now your maximum chase radius. So you can bump that up. So you can control when should the enemy chase the player. So let's just keep it at 1.5. And hit play. And again, if you go inside, it will chase. And if you go outside, it will stop. One more little issue that we need to uh, <clears throat> to fix is when the player gets to uh, or sorry when the enemy gets to you it stands on top of you it should of course stand next to you so let's fix that so open up the script again uh, let me find it here where did it go yeah <clears throat> and to do that, there was a reason why I called this the max radius because then we need to make a, a public float again, and this will be the minimum chase radius. And this is the minimum radius that the enemy can go to you. And then we need to, if the distance is greater or equal to max radius, and our distance is less or equal to our minimum chase radius, then it can follow you, else it should stop. So save it, hit back again. And now my... In my case, my minimum chase radius will be 0 0.2. Let's hit play. And now he will follow you and he will stop next to you. And this can be bumped up as well and down. So you can see now it goes inside of you. And if we say it to 0 0.5, let's run away. And you can see it will stop a bit away from you. So that was what I had to show you today. I really hope that this, uh, this helped you out. And uh, yeah, I can only say thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you in my next video.